When you head out to the beach, most of the time you're probably not thinking about what lurks below the water. But six years ago, one North Carolina family here in the triad, it was a reality for them. In June of 2015, a shark bit a 12 year old girl from Ashboro during vacation to Oak Island. She lost her arm in that attack. WFNY News 2's Jenna Kurzina caught up with the now 18 year old. I remember like I was just there and the shark just came up and was on my arm. A typical family beach trip for Kirsten Yao in June of 2015 quickly took a turn for the worst. It was a bull shark, so it hit my leg first and then I reached back with my left hand to kind of see what it was and that's when it took a bite. At 12 years old, Yao went from playing in the water to battling a shark. It took a few bites of my leg and then it came up to my arm where it was right directly in front of me. So then that's when I had to start punching it to get it off. Yao says she was then dragged under the water. She says all of this happened in just a matter of seconds. It was immediate. I mean, it had already taken a few bites of my leg before I even realized it was there. Since that day at Oak Island, Yao has had several surgeries and had to adapt to her prosthetic arm. It feels like a nightmare that I had a w long time ago. Like it doesn't feel real. There was a lot I had to adapt to. So once I got past that, it became easier, but there's still like new tasks every day I find. She's now preparing for her first year of college at UNC Chapel Hill. Her career path in mind stems from her time spent in the hospital. I was able to meet all these different types of doctors and learn about all these different types of medicine and practices that I never even knew about before. With possible plans of medical school in her future, she isn't letting anything hold her back. As for beach safety, Yao says just be aware in the water. You can't let that fear control you. You can acknowledge it and know that it's there. Just do what you feel comfortable doing. In Ashboro, Jenna Corzina, WFMY News 2.